Hello and welcome to another war review. It's only a couple of days since the last one. I wasn't going to do a war review today because I am going on holiday to England to visit family and friends tomorrow and I have quite a lot of stuff to do today in preparation for that but I'm currently waiting for the laundry to dry so I'm having a bit of a coffee break so I'm going to do that. I thought I may as well do a little bit of a war review while doing that. Um, it was another win and it was a really good win but it wasn't the greatest performance we've ever had in fact I'd put it down as probably one of our worst um, we will have a look at that soon so okay I'm gonna do a little bit I'm gonna do a farming raid first something a little bit different so I've got my cup of coffee my arm is ready and I'm a bit busy today so I'm gonna do a farming raid before we go into the war so let's have a look what shall we find? Something over 2k Dark Elixir, I think. We want to get those heroes up as quick as possible. Oh, what have we got here? 3,000 Dark Elixir. So, with my army, can we do this? Um, yeah. If we go down to the bottom, let's have a look. Ooh, okay, that's that done. And we can go with a jump spell there. Giants, clear the outside. This is how I do my dark elixir. If I Anybody who is interested in that, this is what I do. The rest down there. We should be able to get this dark elixir. Not bothered about trophies, don't care about that. King ability. Queen has Town Hall. Uh, darker, actually, I might be able to get the Town Hall here, so actually, I'm going to go for that because that's a little bit more Dark Elixir in the pot. Not bad, I might even get two stars on this. A maxed base with giant archers. I have got two stars. And I've saved my Queen. That's not bad, that was a bit lucky that a three star, a uh, two star max base, a type of base we don't usually like, two starred it with giant and archers. Awesome. Anyway, let's uh, get on to the war. So, this is the current war, Serbian warlords. Let's go to the war log. Okay, so as you can see, we faced Czechopolis and we beat them 59 51. They're a fairly decent level clan. They had more max heroes than us, as always. That's never um, that's never different in these wars. Enemy always have max heroes. They had seven people with maxed heroes compared to our three. Actually, in the current war we have, we actually have more max heroes than them by one. But it's still a very even war. So yeah, 59-51. Going to be a quick review. Let's have a look. 10 three stars to their four three stars. 14 two stars to their 18 two stars. Uh, Terra got most heroic attack and heroic defense. We won by eight points. Total destruction, we beat them on that as well. War events, if we look at the end, uh, I did a really rushed attack right at the end on number seven because we'd already won. Um, number six attack Kruda. So they had number six, number four. Uh, they had quite a number of maxed hero attacks right at the end that they went for and failed. So we actually won by eight in the end, but. It wasn't as it wasn't as big a win as that looks. I mean, we really pulled it out at the end. Um, we couldn't two star all the tens and three star all the nines because we had wasted a lot of attacks early on. Uh, if we look at the enemy, they had 97 wins. They hadn't many losses. They had about 30 losses, I think. So they were a decent clan, and yeah, they had some very strong attackers, but they weren't very good at three stars on town or nine. So that one was. This war in the end, uh, as you can see, that was our 149th win. But if you look at our guys, very few people actually had two good attacks. Easy Rocking got one star from two attacks. Sabe got one two star, which was a good one, but he failed his first one. Broomster got two two stars. Ked failed one. Major Guernsey failed one. Rhino, big one. Uh, Wuxia got two two stars. I failed one. Um, Guillermo did well he got a Town Hall 9 as well so as you can see most of our Town Hall 10s 
failed at least one attack, and then the Town Hall Nines, we did the Town Hall Nines did three star seven of the twelve bases or seven of the eleven, yeah, seven of the eleven bases. But as you can see, J Dub two three stars, Butter two three stars, Mayfair two three stars, Daniel got a three star, and then one two three four five six seven is that seven members or eight members either seven or eight members didn't get a three star at all um that needs to be better same as with town or tens we need more people getting more successful attacks i mean usually we do it's not that lately we've been bad or anything it's just this particular war we weren't very well, uh, we weren't very good. Uh, previous wars we've been excellent, and I'm sure future wars will be excellent. But I'm just picking up that this war, this particular war, we were a bit sloppy. I don't know if it was because looking at the enemy team, we saw 97 war wins, Not they hadn't even got 100 war wins. Plus they were from the Czech Republic, so we thought, mm, you know, then they're maybe not going to have a big choice of players to choose from when making up their clan. I don't know. I don't know if that was the, the problem, but we definitely were sloppy in this war. We were not at our best. Um, another thing I want to pick up on was defensive clan castle. We seem to have way too many dragons in clan castles, um, and those bases seem to get steamrolled pretty easily. So I want people to talk through that and maybe figure some other clan castle compositions out other than the usual. Uh, see if we can do something there to make it more difficult for these maxed hero attacks, because... Maxed hero attacks on non-maxed bases are just going to roll them over. The only way of stopping them really is with clan castle. And that's usually a hound distracting the queen or something. So yeah. So we'll move on to some of the attacks. Um, and we're going to start with number one. We're going to start with Wuxia on number one. This, for me, was our best attack this war. A very tough base. Um, we failed on it. Sabe failed on it. We've failed on it a number of times in in wars in the past. Um, but Wooks takes it out with dragons. This one was really at the end. We had no... Re we Gattis was the only guy left with high level heroes. Uh, like level 40 or above level 35 heroes. And we wanted him on number 9 to guarantee 2 stars. So Wooks had to take out number 1 and number 5 late on. And she got two stars on both those, uh, on both those bases, which we had struggled on. We were actually we were worried we weren't going to get any stars on those bases, and that we were going to lose the war because of that. But then Wooks did mass drag. Um, it's not just mass drag; it's a bit more than that. It takes a bit more than just dropping dragons. This attack, and she two starred this base pretty easily, to be honest. Um, very high percentage, two stars. Absolutely brilliant attack. And this was one of the attacks that changed the war, really. Because we were a bit worried at this point, and then Wux 2 starred this. And then it became apparent that once Wux 2 starred this, the war was then in our hands, not in the enemy's hands. So once she 2 starred this, if we 2 starred number 9 and cleaned up the town all 10s, then we were going to win. There was nothing the enemy could do about it. So that changed the war, really, that raid. Um, Broom, his raids were early. So he attacked early on and he got two two stars. He actually attacked this base, number two and I think number four, or number two and number five, I'm not sure. Both had exactly the same base. Broom attacked very early on and got two stars, no problem on it. So, as you do, he built his army and attacked it straight away again and got another two. So we've got four stars on this base. I don't know why two of them had this base. It's not a base I would recommend anybody to have. It wasn't very good. Um, well, I wouldn't say it's not very good, but when somebody, you know, very early on is really keen to attack a base twice, it doesn't really say a lot for it. And Broom absolutely smashed this base twice, so... Just a bit of clean up there, so we're not going to watch the end of that. We've got on number three. Oh, Sabe on number three. This was a good raid as well. Uh, we had failed on this base. 
some of these raids were seeing the Sabe raid, the Wooks raid. There was no, there was actually, there was nobody to clean up these bases. If Wooksir failed, if Sabe failed, there was nobody left that was going to be able to clean up those bases. I mean, these were late raids, but they were very, very important raids, very key raids. I know we did get them, but if we'd have been a bit unlucky and not got them, there would have been no more chances to get those stars. I mean, we really did. We were really down to the bare bones here, getting these stars late on. I think they had something we had to clean up. I don't know. There were so many bases to clean up, and we had just enough attack. I think we had eight attacks left, and there were eight bases needed cleaning up. Um, and out of those eight attacks, I think we failed two of them. Or maybe just one of them. I think we only failed one of them. Of the key attacks left. Um, and that meant that we three-starred all the nines bar one. And we two-starred all the tens apart from one. We did think at one point we were going to have to three all the nines. But then right at the death, they, their guys, they had like ten raids left to do in the last hour. And I think they rushed them a bit. They did them all in the last half hour. I think what was going to happen was they thought they were going to win because we were struggling so they thought they were going to win and oh watch Reiner they thought they were going to win they thought it wasn't going to be a problem and I think basically they were waiting till right at the end to just troll us and take the piss basically because they had loads of like they had set I think they had five of their attacks that were left or seven of their attacks left I'm not sure with town or tens with near max heroes or max heroes and basically they could choose whether it got to a point where they couldn't three star all the nines and two star all the tens so they decided that just all their town or tens left were going to build town or nine armors and then they were going to leave our last two town or tens with one star they actually ended up having to rush that and it meant that they failed probably half of those raids right at the end um, but when we got the stars at the end, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. I mean, there was nothing, that, even if all those raids had been successful, every single one of them, they would not have been able to beat us unless they were going to three-star town or tents right at the end, which well, they hadn't done the whole war, so. A great attack by Rhino. Not going to watch the cleanup again. 70% on that base. Number seven, we couldn't do number seven. Strange, because it wasn't a difficult base. It was a quite easy looking base. In fact, it was probably the easiest base out of most of them. And we actually didn't two star it. But I think that was more down to at the end, we hadn't three starred all the nine. So, and the tens, we had some with no that had no stars on at all. So it was better to attack them and at least get a star than go for number seven. So that's sort of the reason why that was. Ked on number eight, let's watch this. There's another one base that wasn't the best, but I mean, if you look at it, they have the single inferno over that side, the queen to pull them away from there, clan castles the other side, and then they have all that buff stuff on the northwest side, sort of stopping heroes and wizards getting in. So, not as easy as it looked, this base, and a giant bomb over there. So, I thought this was a pretty good raid because. This base was harder than it looked. A lot of their bases were actually harder than they looked. I think that was the problem. That a lot of their bases did look easy. But then when you actually attacked them, there was some just small things like trap placement, inferno placement, and stuff like that that, that actually made them difficult. And it showed because we, we failed a lot of raids. We really did. I think near the end we'd failed... I think we'd actually failed more town or ten attacks than we had successful. I think after 19 town or ten attacks, we had actually successfully two starred eight bases. So it wasn't going so well. It really wasn't. Gainsey on number nine. Let's watch this one because this was near the end as well. I mean, this is their number nine. I mean, this is a tricky bet. It's not a. I don't know if it's it's not a tricky base, but it's a it's an unusual base. It's one of those where if you know which way to attack it from, it's okay. But there's so many ways. If you look at every way of attacking it, there's something that can go wrong. You know, some bases you just look at and you know, right, I'm going to go from this side. 
nothing can really fail unless I do something wrong. But this is one of those bases that's a bit, mm, you know, you're never sure. You're never sure if your heroes are going to go for the town hall or if they're going to go after the queen in that big compartment. If you attack from the bottom, you're not you're not sure you're even going to get to town hall. If you're top from the top, you're not going to get percentage. It's actually a tricky base, but one of those bases that if you've got max heroes and you're going from a good direction, then you've got a good chance. And Guernsey did a good job there. And that was their number nine. So as you can see, their bases were pretty high level. Guillermo on 10, 11. Okay, I'm going to show the... Actually, I'm going to show Terra on number 11. Or number four. Let's watch him on number 14 because he gets 70% on number 14. This was their lowest Town Hall 10. As you can see, it's not bad. It's got level 2 Infernos, good walls, good heroes. It was actually a 9.5. No, it wasn't a 9.5. He had Infernos at the start of war. And this was a good raid. I mean, it's again, it's not an easy base for low level heroes. And Terra's only got 22 King and 23 Queen. It's a relatively new Town Hall 10. So. Well, he did do a good job. He did a nice raid. He hit his freeze at the right time. Used his heroes well. Well, his queen actually won, but we'll say less about that. But, yeah, it, you know, it was a decent raid. He did a nice job. 70%. Quiet now. I'm going to have a cup of coffee while we just watch the end of this. Not much to say really for the rest, it's just the Queen cleaning up about 25% of the base on her own. He didn't plan that. He might pretend he did, but he didn't. So yeah, this was their lowest level base. So it was still pretty decent. So well, let's move on to the Town on 9, shall we? Number 15 didn't get 3 starred. Um, Number six, let's watch Butter on number 16. The thing I want to talk about with the Town Hall 9s, like I said at the beginning, it was left to four members to get all the three stars. Uh, we need to be better than that. Um, not just need to be better than that. This isn't, this isn't criticising people. I mean, this is just fact. We are better than that. You know, we do better than that. On Their bases weren't terrible. But a lot of them weren't great. I mean, it got to the end, and the Town Hall 10, Credo, had to clean up the number 25 base, which was basically a Town Hall 8 with crossbows. Now, you can argue whatever you want. I mean, that that shouldn't be happening. And it's not ability that's the problem. The problem there was people, the lower level people, not logging on. So we saved number 25 for the lower level people because it's basically the only thing that... JCBM and Glorp and, and that can, you know, that can realistically get three stars on. So we save it and then it's like Glorp turns up with an hour and a half left of war after I messaged him. And then, who was the other one? Daniel, I think, came on with only 30 minutes left and it was too late for him to attack anything. So, you know, that, that cost us stars. And, I mean, in the end, we could have lost that war because those late attacks not coming on until really late cost us a couple of stars. In fact, it probably cost us more stars because what it meant was that early on people were going higher that could have attacked lower. If Glorp, for example, had come on and taken and attacked tw 21 and 25 and failed, then we then could have gone lower. So somebody like Eod who, let's say, I, don't, I can't remember now, but let's say he had attacked number 15, when he could have attacked number 25 or number 21 with level 30 heroes, and easily two, and easily three starred. But because we were waiting for people, it made more sense at the time for him to go higher and hopefully get the three star higher up, and then that left the lower bases for the lower guys to three star. But it ended up that he didn't get three stars, uh, I'm using this, this is hypothetical, I don't know if Eod did that or not, I'm just using that as an example. Um, and you know, people, it, it could have been different, we could have won more stars. So, you know, a lot of people were unlucky, I mean BB was unlucky, he had some good raids, 
Arabian Beast was unlucky. He did two really good raids. We were unlucky that the other guys didn't get more three stars. But when that does happen, it means that we need to be on point with organization. And we weren't. You know, the Town on Nines weren't. It's not the Town on Nine leader's fault. I mean, they can't force people to be online. But at the end of the day, people weren't. The lower Town on Nines weren't anywhere to be seen when we needed them. And we need that to be better. That has to be better. Uh, I mean, at the moment, uh, we're going to watch J Dub. At the moment, we have uh, we have left out Glob for the next draw because he came online at, with one and a half hours left, and it really doesn't help. We can't afford to do that. So, you know, we had 27 people for war and needed 25. So we, we had to leave out the ones that, you know, aren't aren't on in good time and and, and it's, it's making it harder for us. So we have to do that. We just can't afford to, to lose wars because of because of people not being online. Well that's enough about that rant. I mean overall we did win. And we did post a score of 59 stars in a 25v25, which is still good for most clans. I mean, most clans would be absolutely ecstatic with that. But we do have high expectations, not just the leaders, but the members. The members have high expectations as well. The members expect to three star all the town or nines and two star all the town or tens. If not three star the bottom town or tens and three star all the town or nines. That's just the expectation level now. Uh, of the clan and that's great the expectation is there because we do do it and we have done it so people expect to do it and that's brilliant it really is um, but then when a war comes like this where we you know we don't really do it then hmm, yeah then we have to sort of take a little bit of a look at it and and be a little bit more careful you know just try and talk to people a bit more get people to realize that they need to attack at certain points and they need to talk through strategies they need to remember heroes they need to remember you know basic things with the town hall tens a lot of the town hall tens missed basic things this war whereas the town hall nines it was more about they got a bit of bad luck and the organization was a bit off uh, we need to start showing that that's important so when people do turn up late and stuff, we're going to have to start leaving them out like we have with Glob. To send a message, if nothing else, just to show that, you know, it could cost us wars. And if you're not going to, if people aren't going to help us in the wars, then we're going to have to leave them out. So, yeah. I mean, this isn't a, a having a go at Glob or anything. I mean, if, if he probably generally genuinely is busy with work and stuff um, but that doesn't stop us needing him to attack early so if he can't then we just have to leave him out um, so yeah that was a three star by Daniel on number 24 so that's gonna wrap it up for this I know it was a lot of whinging and whining on this video but I think it was needed um, it was a bad performance it was a good result we did well in the end. We got a good amount of three stars and a good amount of two stars. But overall, the performance wasn't up to our normal standard. Not taking anything away from anybody. We have absolutely brilliant attackers. Um, a lot of those that failed. I mean, Easy Rocking, he got one star from two attacks. Yeah, you know, he has to do better than that. But he can do better than that. He's a very, very good attacker. None of this criticism is taking anything away from anybody, not saying anybody's bad attackers, just that this particular war, we were sloppy for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know what the reason was. Maybe we thought it was an easier war than than it, it ended up being. I don't know. But we just need to be a bit more careful that this doesn't happen in really, really tough wars, because if it happens in a really, really tough war, we're going to lose. So, yeah, that's it. As you can see, 59-51. Uh, terror, most heroic attack, terror, most heroic defense. Quickly give some war heroes. Let's have a look. Broomster, definitely war hero for number four and two. 
And even though the second attack didn't really matter, Wuxi is going to be the other war hero, getting two stars on one and five. Because that number one, the two star on number one, basically won us the war, I think. Town or nines, I'm going to give three war heroes because three people really pulled us through this war as town or nine level, and that was Mayfair, uh, Butter, and J Dub. All three of them got two three stars. Six out of the seven three stars at town or nine level were done by those three guys. So, yep, congratulations. Another good win, another victory for us. Let's hope I'm back in a couple more days with another one. I'm going to be on my holiday. Well, not holiday, but I'm going visiting friends and family tomorrow. So, Town or 9s and 10s all going to have to work together and help each other. Because I'm not going to be on to organise much. Wuxi is going to be away at work most of this war. So, yeah, good luck, guys. And thanks for watching this video. Enjoy your day.